architects often want to know how to draw curtains in AutoCAD and in 3D and so what I've got on show here is a uh, is a window opening in a wall and I want to create a curtain that is maybe a hundred bigger in the Y on the sides and 200 at the base of this window. So I start by drawing a box from one corner to and then I say shift right click and from this bottom corner and then in the y direction I go uh, at in the x direction 0 comma y minus 150 and uh, 0 in the z direction so there's a little bit of, bit of a box uh, which is going to indicate where that curtain kind of where that curtain is going to be positioned I need to then extrude the faces uh, of the top uh, by a hundred at an uh, taper of zero and then once again the sides both sides a hundred at zero and then the base by the base by two hundred and at zero. There we go. Alright, so there's a box that we can use to create the um, the curtain from. Alright, so next thing I go to my solid interface over here and I say extract edges of that solid there and I re I raise the, the box. I'm going to override those in red just to highlight them and there you can see the box that is getting used to generate the, um, the size of the uh, of the model. There we go. Seen from the front, 100, 100, 200 at the base, and there we go. All right. So next, what I've done is to create an a copy of this red box. Over there, there is the uh, midpoint of the line, so it's half of the opening. And uh, what this is is an array of lines. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spacings and then a spline is drawn to fit through these. Uh, importantly the amplitude of this kind of sine curve that you see it's not quite a sine curve but the amplitude of that waveform is a hundred millimeters. Okay. Then at the top I want to do the same thing so let me just demonstrate how I would do that is I would copy the array from that endpoint, the bottom endpoint to the top endpoint there, and then I would like to edit the uh, the source of the array, say that one, yes, and then I draw a circle over here with a radius of 50, enter, and then I trim back the size. So Oh, so. And then what we do is we save changes and then we can see it's got less of an amplitude and then we can also start to draw the spline right there. So the base spline is drawn in pretty much the same way. This just shows how to modify the top spline. There's a spline curve and here we go. Click on the end point, end point, midpoint, end point. Yep. Yep, yep. So, and there it's done. Great. Right. So, there is the basic shape. Okay. So, the next part of this is that we copy this. We copy this across. Let's just erase this item here. We copy these two splines across and delete this vertical red line and the result is that we now also need to put two more splines because we are going to generate a curtain from that. Here's the, the command. Um, we draw a, a, a spline. Well, it's just a two-point spline. There's one, two, from endpoint to endpoint. And then it's another spline from endpoint to endpoint. So, right. So next we want to generate a surface. So I want to go ahead and copy that across. 
So we copy the cross to the side. So and now we are going to use a surface command to generate a networked surface. Uh, spline at the top and at the bottom and the spline at the sides. And enter. Alright, so that now generates a, a UV curve. Um, you can go ahead and then um, convert this to a NURB surface. Continue. Uh, show CV. And if you do this and you press control, you can actually click on one of those points and you can also drag that curtain and give it a different shape. Right. So you're not left with a shape. You can actually um, you can actually uh, uh, manipulate this even further. Give it a few less um, in the definition. Give it less uh, curves, and then you can make it like it's blowing in the wind or or so on. Hide CV, and then you can also after you've done what you need to do there, you might even consider to create a solid out of this by thickening it. So once again, copying that surface across to the to the right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to thicken this. Let me just save this quickly. So I'm going to use the thicken command. That's on the uh, solids there. We can thicken that surface. And I'm going to give it a thickness of say one millimeters. Now I can see it's not turned it into a solid. All right. So this is now a solid object. You can see it's a 3D solid. And uh, ready for use either as a surface or as a solid. I'm going to use a solid and then uh, what we also need to do is to apply some material. So um, you have to be going to the visualize pane over here, there's your materials browser, switch the, the view style to realistic and then you can open the browser and load some materials. It's the, the usual workflow. Uh, in this case what I've done is to use the uh, the blue stripes. Right. So let's just see if I can do a different material. So fabric, let's look for fabric here are fine fabrics. There is uh, some nice plates. Let's see vertical stripes. These horizontal stripes here. There is one with uh, horizontal stripes, you know. And I load this in. And um, that's great. Okay, so that's now within the project. And then I just have to decide uh, on which layer I want to place the curtains. Here I can place that in the layer just select this item over here, put it in the layer curtain and that one also we can put that in the layer curtain and so we can go back to the material uh, we can attach by layer, that is the easiest and here we can see how the blue and white and we can replace that with uh, yellow drag it across, apply it to the curtain, material, say ok and there we go, right so there is now a new material and we can now go and copy copy the curtain from the endpoint to the endpoint over there. There you go. Okay. And what is left for us to do? Well, uh, you know, you can either hide or put these red lines on a layer so you can help later on or or hide these lines or if you want to delete them, remember also there's always the dash filter uh, transparent command. We can say say um, say um, lines so everything that is not solid so let's let's say begin not add to list solid body add to list and end not add to list okay we can always give it a name not solid right and apply select everything and it will filter out the lines for us to delete right. and there is the curtain I don't know if it's to model a rail for it again but it does give a generally good appearance um, and you can of course uh, copy this across to some of the other items uh, just a reminder that if you're going to do this for every window in your uh, house you uh, might consider having a good graphics card, a good quadro card because clearly the file is going to get quite heavy well I hope you've enjoyed this um, demonstration on how to create a, uh, a curtain for a window in AutoCAD and uh, best of luck 
with whatever you are creating in this way. Enjoy surfaces, enjoy 3D. It is a fantastic tool to go and draw items with.